I bet you've seen some of these cool animated emojis in other videos. Adding those is an easy way to make your videos more engaging. If you're editing short-form content, animated emojis are a true must-have to spice up video's captions. So how do you make one? Of course, you don't have to design and animate those emojis. The best place to get lots and lots of cool animated emojis is Telegram, which is a free messenger app. You can get access to even more emoji packs with Telegram Premium subscription. However, there's so much high-quality free stuff that I suggest sticking with free. Open any chat, click the emoji icon, select the one you want, and now you are presented with a bunch of animated options, as well as animated stickers. And you can grab any of those. Let's select the thumbed up emoji and send it. Send only one emoji per message, otherwise you won't be able to save. Right-click the message and click Save As. Give it a name and press Save. Our emoji will be downloaded as .tgs or .webm file. We can directly import those formats into the pinch result, so we'll need to convert .tgs or .webm to .gif. GIF? GIF? Whatever. To convert those .tgs files, we can use a tool called EmojiBest, and for .webm, we'll use asgif. Both of these tools work online and are completely free. Ok, now we have our .gif files, but for whatever weird reason, DaVinci Resolve does not support .gif. So we'll have to convert our emoji one more time to something DaVinci Resolve can handle. Most of tools available let you turn GIF into an MP4 video. However, 90% of Telegram emojis have transparent background, and converting those into standard .mp4 isn't an option, as it doesn't support transparency. Essentially, our GIF is a set of static frames, so we'll convert .gif to PNG image sequence, which can handle transparent backgrounds with zero issues. It's best to use the tool that outputs sequentially numbered files so that DaVinci treats such images as frames of a video clip and not individual photos. Converger does precisely that. Now, when we have downloaded and extracted our PNG frames, we can simply grab those and drag onto DaVinci Resolve timeline. Final step is to resize, position, and add transitions to your liking. Rinse and repeat for any other animated emojis. Now you won't have to purchase expensive DaVinci Resolve emoji packs. However, check out this video if you're searching for a cool graphics pack that will substantially speed up your DaVinci Resolve workflow.